Four Processes for Advancement in Krishna Consciousness by Krishna's Mercy Shreyo hi gyanam abhyasa gyana dhyanam vishishyate dhyan at karma falatyagastyaga chantiran nantaram Quote, if you cannot take to this practice, then engage yourself in the cultivation of knowledge. Better than knowledge, however, is meditation. And better than meditation is renunciation of the fruits of action, for by such renunciation one can attain peace of mind. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 12.12 We have the case of a sympathizer. They have come across the culture of Krishna consciousness, some way or another. Perhaps they were perusing the religion and spirituality aisle of the local bookstores as bookstores are quickly becoming a relic of the past. Maybe the same was occurring in a virtual environment, scrolling down or swiping left on a smartphone. This person came in contact with a sacred text, such as Bhagavata Gita as it is, Srimad Bhagavatam, or Teachings of Lord Chaitanya. It is as if the eyes open simultaneously with the book. With the turning of each page, there is a different kind of vision. Clarity, confidence, crispness, clearing of confusion, comprehension of the reason things happen from beginning to end. Aham Atma Gurakesh Sarva Bhutasha is Tita Aham Adish Chamadhyamcha Bhutanam Ant Evcha. Quote I am the self, O Gudakesha, seated in the hearts of all creatures. I am the beginning the middle and the end of all beings. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 10.0 This person wants to do more. They feel a call to action. There is an urge of inspiration. His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada explains that there are four general processes for making such advancement when it is desired. It is something like a waterfall methodology or going through a process of elimination. 1. Dedicate his life The reality is just how it sounds, from morning until night. Every objective, from short term to long. The target goal, the ending state, the desired condition at completion. Everything is for becoming conscious of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, such that there will be no room for Maya. No chance for hesitation. That way of life which began with attention to rules and regulations, Vidi, will transform into spontaneous outpouring, which is rooted in attachment, Raganuga. With the entire life dedicated to the Supreme Lord and His devotees, there will be no opportunity to be convinced out of that allegiance. 2. Dedicate His Money Of course, there are always mitigating factors. It may not be practical to dive in so quickly. There may be impediments. There are external conditions which play a role. Since devotional service can be done without motivation and without interruption, there is still an opportunity for advancement. If a person has resources associated with their work, with the gifts they may have received from others, they can sacrifice for the higher cause. They can use that money to assist those who have dedicated everything to Krishna consciousness. Since this support is linked to the higher objective, it becomes transcendental in nature. 3. Utilize his intelligence There are a variety of conditions within this world. Even those who want to work may have a difficult time finding it. It may be that where they live, the cost of housing eats up a majority portion of the monthly take-home pay. They are living paycheck to paycheck. Some are lucky to even reach that standard. They are currently drowning in debt. Never mind. As a person, can still advance. They can use their intelligence to assist in the efforts. 
they can think of ways to further the cause of devotion to the Supreme Lord. Something as simple as guidance in physical location, in knowing the best places to practice, in providing recommendations, can go along towards helping others. 4. Utilize his words. If there is no other way, then a person can at least offer kind words. They can praise the efforts of saintly people. Their well wishes are a kind of ornamentation to the beautiful presentation of the bhakti culture. After all, so much of Vedic literature is prayer. The kind words have a connection to the auspiciousness associated with the devotional efforts. For instance, we know of the Leela of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in his Avatara of Krishna. He delivered the suffering parents Devaki and Vasudeva. He gave delight to the people of Gokul Vrindavan. He stole butter from the homes of the neighbors and accepted the protection of Yashoda and Nanda. Quote, Our dear Lord, you are appearing as the best of the Yadu dynasty, and we are offering our respectful humble obeisances unto your lotus feet. Before this appearance, you also appeared as the fish incarnation, the horse incarnation, the tortoise incarnation, the swan incarnation, as King Ramchandra, as Parshuram, and as many other incarnations. Demigods praying to Krishna in the womb of Devaki, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Volume 1, Chapter 2 We see that everything began with kind words. The demigods offered prayers to the womb of Devaki. They simply said some nice things, but their participation was still significant. It is part of the greater story of triumph and glory, which remains fresh and vibrant due to the continuation of the devotional culture held up by saintly people of the world. In Closing Of their participation, just consider that when Vishnu set to deliver, in womb of Devaki to go, the demigods in advance to know. Such that wonderful prayer saying, indirect support displaying, but since to highest cause connected, transcendental those words collected.